I'm Chris. Happy Thanksgiving to all of my non-American viewers. Here we go. Let's head on over to our, everyone's got a turkey site, right? Our gobble site here. And uh, on our turkey site, we're going to be doing some exciting things here. The turkeys have a number of issues they want to deal with, right? So they thought they might come over here and add a new list. And right here under the templates, we've got this issue tracker from Microsoft. Very nice. It's got uh, you know, some pre-populated stuff here. They're really just bragging about these uh, choice columns, and that's nice, and some group views, and that's cool. We're going to use that. Now I've gone ahead and created it so I didn't have to enter the sample data in front of you. So let's go ahead and head over there. Sorry, I think my headset keeps muting me. All right. Everyone can hear me though, right? Woo. All right. Good. All right, well, if you can't, that'll be great. All right, so we've got our issue tracker list here. Again, it's just the default list here. The only thing I've done is made a couple of the fields required that are not, just save time. So the title field's required. Now the issue description is required. You know, we come in here and we can do that for a couple more of these, right? So column settings, we're gonna edit our priority. You know, the thing we're gonna do with priority is we're gonna set a default value to normal. And then we're gonna make that uh, required as well. All right, so we'll just come in here and say, require that. Yeah, great. So now we've got that required. We come into status. You know, again, this is the uh, the standard. I think it's very good. There's just a couple of things I don't like. Like, I don't want people to be able to add their own status value. No, thank you. All right, and again, I want to require that. And then we're going to come over here, you know, and we're going to make date reported. To make that a little friendlier as well, just by making the default value today's date. Boom. There we go. And then finally, I really, this one's the one that bothers me. Uh, it's called images, but it's a single image column. So let's just rename that to image. All right, and let's change this description to a photo or image. And that's not really important, but uh, you know, that's for me and that uh, makes me feel better. So there we go. All right, so we've got that and that's exciting. So now this thing's a little better, uh, but we can go a little further. Uh, if we head over and let's add a few samples here, right? So if we had uh, over here to our list formatting samples repo, uh, we head over to our groupings view. We can see like by column type when we come on down, we know we've got an image column. Uh, Cause I mean, this image column is okay. We can click it right and we get the image real big and that's one thing. But why don't we get a sample we've already got here under its image called the image light box. Now all I have to do is click on one of the JSON files here, click on the advanced one, hit this copy button, come on back here and I'm gonna go over to image and I'm gonna column settings. I'm gonna format this column. And I'm just going to paste that thing I just copied. Preview that. There we go. Save that guy. And so now what's happening is now I can see these images right here in a nice little light box. Very, very cool. All right? Changed your life forever. So that's pretty cool. So just adding a quick sample is pretty awesome. Now we can also come over here and we can do a little formatting ourselves, right? So if we want to take this date reported, for instance, make that a little more helpful. We'll come in here and we'll go column settings. We're gonna format this column. We're gonna advance mode. Let's see if we can make this a little bigger. There we go. And then we're gonna just come on here and we're gonna try and add some stuff here. So we're gonna say, uh, it's an Elm type of say a span, right? Cause it's just some text. All right, then our text content, or right, we can say is the at current field. And if we say just at current field, right? It's mostly gonna be fine. It's just gonna be the date. But just to make sure we get any kind of display things we want, we're going to say display value. That's again, it's not going to change anything here. Uh, but on certain types of fields and other stuff, uh, like certain currency fields or the way you might have date with time and other things specified here, use the display value. That's going to make it look a lot better. And finally, we haven't done anything new, so let's add something here. All right, so let's add our attributes, and we're going to add our sills. Whoa, not bad. Silly, silly. All right, now we come in here, we're going to say our class, right? So we're just going to set this dynamically. And we're going to say if the current field, so that's that date time, right, is less than, we're going to say add days to now of negative seven. So we're going to say, right, if it's older than seven days, then I want you to be MS font color red, and you can be MS font weight bold. All right, and otherwise, don't worry about it. Now let's preview that. Ooh, now we've now we've got this idea that anytime it's older than seven days, right? We're going to go ahead and mark it as red. 
But you can see like that doesn't really make sense if things are completed. You know, so we can add an additional condition here, right? We could say, you know, and and you know, our status, right, is not equal to completed, you know, something along those lines, right? And we do that now, we can take that out. And then we get a little more creative with that. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and copy one where I've got a few more things just because we've got a couple of statuses that are more final. Right, and I've swapped that now. So I'm saying just look at instead of saying where it's not completed, I'm saying um, and right, it's either new or in progress or blocked. Right, I found that was a little easier. And so if I save you that, it looks the exact same. Right, but now we've got ourselves some nice formats. Woo, this thing's getting real nice. I'm very grateful for this list <laughs> and for Thanksgiving. All right, so but let's take a look at something else we could do. Right, so let's take a look at that form. I'm going to show you a little trick here. So we got this form. It's okay, right? It's just this limited form style. Um, and we've taken a look before. You can configure layout. And you can come in here and you get our body. And if you happen to know the magic syntax, right? You can start to write it here. And you can say, you know, our sections. And that's going to be an array. And each of those arrays is going to have, you know, an item, right? And that's going to have a display name, right? You're going to say section one and so on and so forth, right? And that's okay, you could do that, right? And then you would say like fields and then you would start to specify those fields by the display name and so on. And that's okay, but here's a trick I'm gonna show you uh, is that you don't have to define all that stuff yourselves. All you really have to define is the first part of that. So I'm gonna show you a sample that has this in it right here. So all I'm doing is defining the sections of the display name, I'm not gonna define any of the field stuff because that's a lot of typing. And I don't wanna do that, right? In preview that it doesn't do anything. Because uh, there's some weird stuff. I close it. It's got like double forms. Don't worry about any of that. All you're going to do is refresh to, to make sure it took. Right now, when you open that, what we have now is these extra sections. Right? We have three sections, but they have nothing in them. And here's the trick. Wow, we can hit edit columns, and we can actually just drag these things around right into our section. So I didn't have to type that stuff. Woo! Less typing is great. All right? So I can say our issue descriptions up here. Date reported, issue logged by, write our issue source, and our image will leave status and assigned to. We'll hit save on that. Again, it might look a little wonky sometimes here, so I'm going to refresh. Wonky is the official technical term. All right. Now, one thing that we saw or didn't see actually is that our attachments, which has been renamed to associated files in this template, uh, wasn't one that we could drag around. Now, I want that up in the additional information so that, for whatever reason, attachments doesn't play nice. But once we've done all that, we can just come in here and do that one ourselves, right? So we're going to say comma. We don't worry about into our formatting associated files because as soon as we hit that preview, it's going to fix the formatting for us. There we go. Associated files is now up there in the additional information. Wowee! That's exciting. All right. So now we've got a nice form, and that was a cool trick to not have to type in all of those display names. All right now we can go take a look at a couple of other things. All right. So we have these cool group by. Uh, fields, right? So group by status, that's neat, right? So it's got all the status and it's grouped by. One thing that is kind of an irritation to me, right, is I've got this cool format that they've already set up, right? I've got my pills set up, maybe I've even customized them, whatever it is, and they look cool here. And if I filter, right, they're going to show up some there, but what they're not doing is show up in the group, and that's annoying. So why don't we change that? So what I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to go here, I'm going to column settings, I'm going to format this column. All right, so I've got, maybe I've gone through, I've changed my choices around, you know, I've, maybe I want to, I don't know, let's uh, edit the styles right now. Duplicate gets an icon of uh, people. That sounds great. All right, that's the only one. But the idea is it's just I customize it slightly. You don't have to customize it, but I did. Um, you can come down here, advanced mode. Whether you customize or not, advanced mode is going to have all of this stuff in here. I don't care what it says. I'm just going to hit control A. I'm going to copy that. Right, I'm going to close that thing. And now what I want to do is I want to apply a group, right? So here's another thing we're going to say, which is the edit the curve, format the current view, say advanced mode. And I have another starter for you. Uh, so I'm going to go grab on my other screen. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste that thing in. Whomp. Now I'm using the clipboard history, which is why I don't care that I'm copying and pasting multiple things. I'll show you that in a moment. Make sure you turn that on if you're on Windows. All right. So the idea is I've got this. If I preview that, all it's really done is taken out the value, right? So I have this section here where I've got the column display name and I've got the count just like I had before, but I have this empty section. And I'm gonna Windows V to get my uh, clipboard history. So I grab that one I copied before. So this is that, that column format for status, right? I'm just gonna paste that sucker in. It's gonna look terrible, add a comma. And I'm gonna come to the very top of it. 
blah, 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 all that stuff's in there that it generated for me. That's very fun. I'm just going to delete the schema because that's not necessary. It won't break anything to leave it, but I'm going to take it out. And then if I preview that, it's not actually going to work, right? But because it's referencing uh, the status column everywhere, right? So if we, if we look down here, you know, it's got the status column. So let's change that. So I'm just going to highlight that, save myself some typing, hit Control F. All right, so there it is. I'm just going to replace that with at group dot field. Ooh, at group dot field data with capital D. Replace all of those instances wherever it was mentioned in that. Now we preview that. Bam. So that was very easy, sort of, right? So easy enough. Uh, but the idea is now my group header now matches that design. Now, if I go update these things, they are not linked, right? Because you can't do a column format of reference here because it is slightly different. Uh, but the idea is once I've got that configured, I can swap those things in and out. I can do it with my priority. Uh, we even have an example or sample here of doing that with a user's photo. So if you want to do like the assign to, you can go grab Tatsuya's sample over here and do that as well, kind of customize that. So woo, that's getting exciting. All right, so that's good. So let's save that. And again, we could do that with our priorities um, as well and our assigned to. I'm going to skip those in the interest of time. Uh, but it's the same kind of concept, right? So paste that same kind of starter and then just paste in your format uh, to get the piece in the middle. All right, so now the other thing I want to talk about is why don't we make this even better? All right, so this is cool that it's grouped by this kind of the traditional view, right? And we've got our, you know, advanced light box. Ooh, fancy. Uh, but what if we did something like um, we created a new view and we're going to create a board view, All right? So we're just going to call this our priority board. I find the board views can be very, very helpful for quickly moving things when you're trying to decide stuff or seeing these just in a much more visual, easier to, to see what, like a card view. So let's hit create. Uh, because we've created uh, the priority as required, uh, you know, the unassigned items, for whatever reason, we can't get rid of this for right now. Uh, so that is irritating, but it does because it's alphabetical. This is a nice little view of like, here's all our critical uh, issues. Here's our, you know, our high priority issues and so on as we go. It's got a nice little image view. And if we want to come here, we could say customize the card. You know, and we can do a few things like uh, come down here. We we'll say don't show the column names as labels. Save ourselves a little space. All right, we don't need to show priority. They're already done by that. All right, we'll do the status. We'll show the assigned to. We'll even show a preview of the assigned to, so we get their pretty face and so on. We could add a few more columns as we wanted to. Right, we could add our our date reported, and we could swap that out to our column format of reference um, instead of this, so we could get our nice uh, red. In fact, let's try that. Let's go to advanced mode now. So now what we've done is we've kind of you know, got our card configured the way we want using the wizard. And then we can switch to advanced mode and start customizing it from there should we want to. All right, so one of the things I want to do um, is I want to find the status field, right? So I'm just going to do that. Find, there's the status, right? And so we're saying here, I just want to make sure I can edit it. So right in here, I'm just going to say inline edit field. And I'm going to literally just type in status. Let's preview that. And now when I click on status, I can actually edit status, which is very cool right from the board view. All right now, let's go a little further and let's go down to our assigned to. All right, let's see, where's that assigned? There it is. There's our assigned to. Now, one of the things it's doing is it's hiding it, right? When it's not assigned to, I don't want to do that. So I'm actually just going to remove that by. All right, we don't want that. So if I preview that, now I get that. I'm going to come down here and I say the empty text. They've got a little line. I'm just going to say unassigned. All right, that makes me feel a little better. I right, preview that. It looks okay. Let's add a, uh, a style to that. And let's add our font style. Let's make it italic. All right, and that's just on this empty text. Boom, so that looks nice. And if we come back up here again, we can do the same kind of thing where we say our inline edit field. And in this case, it's going to be the assigned to, which has a zero in this template. That's all right. So we preview that and now we can assign that. All right. That's pretty cool. So now we've made it so that we could do all of that. And if we come down here, let's try and see if we can mess with that. Uh, our date. Sorry, we got our date reported here. We got all this display value stuff and that's that's exciting. But what if we did instead? All right. Uh, let's see. Instead of display value, let's just uh, we're trying this out, by the way. We've never done this. Uh, why not? All right. So we'll come in here and we'll say uh, none of that. And we're just going to say column formatter reference. All right, let's see if this works. Date reported. All right, so preview that. And I'm not sure we have any red ones in here. 
I'm afraid that they're right. Ah, we were trying it out. It was fun. All right. Oh, it's because I've got this uh, display value. Either way, we'll leave that. The whole point here is, oh, there it is. The idea is we're able to kind of customize these cards, bring them in here. We can quickly see stuff. You know, if we wanted to add that advanced light box, uh, you know, a version of that on here, we could, right? We wanted to add an assign me uh, button. We could, we could adapt our samples. The idea though is start with the out of the box stuff, like a template, start customizing from there. And uh, it makes things a lot easier for you. You can have a, a nice turkey issue list uh, very quickly. So let's head over here for final wrap up. Uh, this is just so you can see what those tweaks were I did to the list that I'm recommending. Again, in the sample, I've listed those out as well. Uh, they're just a couple of minor things, mostly making things required and making it just a little easier to use. You'll probably want to add some extra fields, right? Like assign team or, you know, whatever else you wanted to do uh, that makes sense for trying your issues. But again, start with this. It's great. And then here's that form body trick. If you just define those display names of the sections, uh, then you can use the UI to do the rest. And then finally, uh, check out the documentation. And then this uh, sample, it has all of these different uh, formats and things and your starters. Uh, Jason, all in it is the issue tracker enhanced. And uh, that's it. Uh, that's it for me. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Whoa.